Cheers, mates. How's life? It's very well in this end. I hope same at yours. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boys and their toys. What do we have here? We do have evolution. Yeah, we're gonna find that out if it is evolutionary. It is the new. Hey, come on, where? There you go. It is the new. MK2 Polini 221, which we were not waiting for because we did not expect. We did not expect that Polini is gonna change the kit, but I mean, maybe. Maybe repeating is showing weaknesses of kits does change things or so. I mean, that's social media. What is this for? The gaskets are always outside in the package. And look at this. Cylinder head. It does look fancy schmancy, doesn't it? Doesn't have an O-ring though. So, no O-ring. And ha! Now the exhaust nozzle manifold is also separated. Like every VMC does have, and also the Malossi Sport MK2. But at the Malossi it is a two parts. And it has an O-ring. Let's see how it looks on this. Opala. Let's see how it looks here. That is a bit surprising and sad. No seal ring, nothing. And the level is also the same. It's also not deeper. That's not state of the art. So, pretty useless. The big question about the cylinder is, it's called MK2. Sure. Some things were adapted, but is the port layout changed or not? Because we got the Polini 210-221 in 2010 in alloy, in aluminium, and they did not change the port layout. It is still the same, the MK1. It's still the same as the very old cast iron from the 80s. That was really sad, and that explains why power-wise it cannot compete with the Malossi Sport, because the Malossi Sport was redesigned in 2014. It has a different port layout, a modern one. I'm gonna make a blueprint later on. A cylinder. We got the screws. We have the, the centering pins here, that's what I like, yeah, but still, still no seal ring. O-ring missing here, O-ring missing here, they don't like seal rings, do they? And the Evolution, here's the new piston, ha! Look at that, looks like the Asso Malossi, the Asso Vertex, the Gros Sport piston, and it is from Meteor. So it's a proper producer with a design, with a technical design that has proven its stability. Cooling rips. Both sides of the pin are connected properly to the skirt. We know that they work. Let's compare it to the Gross Sport piston and the Asso piston. Where is it? Oh, that's the pin. And the rings, they're a bit thick, I saw. There it is. This one is already a bit adjusted, but you see here, that's the problem, but it always cracks. It always cracks, yeah. I mean, you can do a lot of kilometers less with the Pinasco, because Pinasco made the windows wider. This is a Pinasco, actually. The Polini windows are not that big, also not the boost port, and it always cracks here. Simple reason, because here the connection from the pin to the skirt is missing, so the whole piston ankles. Pinasco is still using it, yeah? And there is another issue with the Super Sport, that L fake transfer ports are not doing good. Meteor, Gros Sport piston.
It is exactly the same. So Polini copied the Godot Sport Piston. It is a different cast, as you see the numbers in here. But this cast is owned by Gross Sport, this one is owned by Polini, so they paid a new one. And it is exactly the same, but there are differences. Um, the rings. Polini uses the standard Meteor rings, they are cast, they can crack. They are 1.5 millimeter thick. Gros Sport is using the own rings, just one millimeter, and also the piston pin. Gros Sport has this biconical, or what's it called? It's lighter. And uh, Polini is using standard Meteor pins. This makes in total it's about 7-8 grams lighter than the Polini. But pretty much the same. Still, state of the art got all sported due to the better rings, because rings are not that unimportant for the cylinder kit, isn't it? Material, exactly the same. Not just to compare the Polini with the Malossi Sport. Malossi Sport is using Vertex now. It was also an Asso. Asso in general, of course, is not bad, but it's just this standard piston that Pinas Campolini used. That's just a fail, complete fail. So I did adjust it a little bit. And what I don't like at a Sport piston is this small beam here. So I'm going to cut it out completely. It's, it's too thin. But in general, they're all the same type. Oh my! Look at that. That's from 2004. Wow, that's nearly 20 years ago. It's still running. It's an Otium Pinasco 213. The one before the Super Sport with this dangerous fake L ports. I opened the transfers, set timings 20 years ago. And, yeah, the mate, Marcus, he picked up the scoot next day. Straight went on a European tour to the Vespa world. The gaskets included. One for the hat. I mean, you don't need a seal ring, do you? Just copper seal. Why not? And uh, the bottom one. And this is one for the exhaust nozzle. You don't have to cut it yourself. It is included. But still, O-ring missing. That is the cheap version. And what about the ports? I made a blueprint. And... It is still the same 80s port layout. The exhaust port is small, that's typical. The Malossi has also 55-56%, but the rest, it is just like the 80s. Conclusion. Nice update, finally. A piston is sold, state of the art, which does not crumble, yes. But, old port layout from the 80s, low power. Seal ring missing at the hat. Seal ring missing at the exhaust nozzle. Piston is good now, but it has thick rings. It has 1.5 millimeter rings. Malossi has one millimeter, and the Gros Sport piston also has one millimeter. Piston is heavier. Overall, it's not a recommendation. It is a good update, yes, but again done as in 2010, and also for the 177 later on, it is not made with love. Cheap, O-ring missing, old ports, low timings, that's not state of the art. And you know, you have to consider, this is the most expensive kit. It is around 500, the Malossi Sport is 400, and uh, it's just not worth the money. Yes, way better than the MK1, no, no recommendation. Don't buy it, it's too expensive and too old school. Done. That's not worth the money. It is just for someone who really loves Polini. And mate, this is absolutely okay. These fans will never die. It's for brand fetish, but it's not the best cylinder. What do we have? Quattrini 244, the killer. Malossi Sport 210. And then we have the Polini, because Pinasco is completely out of the race because of the piston issues. So it is on place three, but not for much longer because what's happening? VMC is bringing up a 245 and we are so excited. So it will be 
Katrini Indoor, WMC Dance Board, so it's rank four. Not a bad cylinder, but old school and too expensive. Cheers, mate. This is a Polini 27208. I never know, which is correct. Cylinder from the 80s. As already shown, is that uh, the Polini alloy MK1, MK2, they still do have the same port layout as the old cast iron. It's fine, it's a tractor, West by a tractor, sure. But the good news is that, I mean, in former years, we were aware of that this piston is not really the best one. No, no, no. I got pistons open, but more about that later on. See this crack here. It did size, and already the crack is developing. And within, yeah, a few 
it would have crumbled completely and most probably destroyed the rotary valve and or the engine case cylinder anyways whatever that's the past and the meteor piston i just showed before is the future who would have thought that a policy is going to be provided by polini because what we did we didn't know that this piston is not good so we just used a Molossi piston and that's where the name comes from Paulini cylinder and Molossi piston it's called Polossi widened the bore and used a Molossi piston and guess what <laughs> rumors say no that's wrong because it's already available and I order it and I'm gonna also check it Polini is now offering a Polossi mains the old cast iron with a 210 cc bore and the new meteor piston and this is amazing because what does it mean the alloy it's too expensive seals are missing old school port layout low timing tiny exhaust port but if you just want to have a little bit more than original that's gonna be the perfect plug and play cylinder because not only that they finally exchanged the piston to a state-of-the-art Malossi style meteor piston they also included a cylinder head because ever since you just got the cylinder and this amazing piston but no cylinder head so a lot of people were tempted to use the original cylinder head. Some West Padillas, an Austrian, very well known, did even recommend you can use the original cylinder head, which is bullshit because 198cc is not 207 or 208cc. Anyways, next video coming up, the Polini 210 cast iron MK2. Cheers, mates. Have a good one. Ein Beast! Bist du deppert, ist das ein Beast jetzt? <lacht>